Hi, my YouTube friends. It's Karen. I'm back for a quick video. I'm back to thank my wonderful subscribers for their prayers, for their good wishes, for their good thoughts, for the good karma that surrounded me. I, personally, I am a strong believer in prayer, okay? So, I know uh, my prayers were answered and a lot of other people's prayers were answered too. And I, I so appreciate that. Um, I, it's been an awful week and it has been exactly one week since the proverbial, <laughs> should I say, Oh, I'm better. Shit hit the fan. I'll say it. I don't care. That's what happened last Thursday. I went in for routine blood work on Wednesday. They called on Thursday to let me know there was a problem with it. And that I had to go for a liver MRI. Not the doctor didn't do that. No, his assistant called me with that news. Uh, informed me of what? blood disorder I have, uh, and that I needed the liver MRI, and besides Googling what I, ha what I had, because she didn't have a good explanation, other than that it's excess iron in the blood, but I went on Google because uh, she didn't really know the questions I was asking her, and technically speaking, it should have been my doctor who was giving me this information. After all, I've been a patient of his for nine plus years. He really should be the one that was um, delivering serious news. Serious news that was life-threatening. And he left it to one of his girls to tell me. And he wonders why I switched doctors yesterday. That's why. Anyway, to, <laughs> to make a long story short, uh, my blood disorder is hereditary. It usually appears in people uh, between the ages of 40 to 60. I'm a little older. I guess I got away with it for six more years. Isn't that great? Anyway, um, it can be easily treated, but it, I will be treated for the rest of my life. And the treatment is bloodletting, as my friend Colleen pointed out. And thank you, Colleen, for all you did and for asking for prayers for a friend on uh, one of your videos because, praise God, they worked. Anyway, um... So I will be under treatment for that. And the MRI showed no liver tumors, showed no cir cirrhosis of the liver. Um, there are a couple other things, but it had, had nothing to do with anything. But uh, hemochromatosis left untreated uh, affects your liver first. And then it can do your pancreas, your your heart, uh, your bones, or your joints, excuse me, your joints, you can get diabetes from it. Um, it, is, it affects a lot of your organs, okay? It's, it's, not a, it's not a great thing to have, but it's perfectly livable. You just have to, you have to have blood taken from you, and I mean like pints of blood, you know, or a pint of blood at a time, not just a little tube of blood. You have, you know, it's like you're donating blood, and you are, because that's how it's taken out. And actually, they can use my blood because, <laughs> hmm, because uh, uh, it wouldn't affect a healthy person because usually people that are getting blood need it because they're anemic and have low blood counts and everything. So it wouldn't hurt somebody else. Although I'm not convinced. 
that I didn't get it from from a transfusion, but they say no, they say it's hereditary, and that's a good kind, so we're all good. I'm, I'm not going to argue on little things. Anyway, the day that I got the bad news, not an hour later, my realtor called and said uh, she had an offer on the house. And I said, you couldn't have call, called at a worse time. I said, I can't even process it. Uh, we had been, we had a verbal offer with this man, and uh, he was ready to write it. And I said, no, nope, can't do it. I'm having tests done tomorrow, and I won't have results till Monday or Tuesday, and depending on the results will depend on what we'll do. Um, I was convinced when I first heard the news that we, I was going to stay right here and not put myself through the stress of moving. However, God puts little angels in your life, and my little angels know who they are. Between phone conversations and uh, personal messages, um, I received insight. You know, people gave me things to think about. And uh, as a result, I decided, or we decided, because what I really did is ask Charlie, I said, did you really want to move to Florida? And he said, well, I did. I said, well, then we are. We'll just go on. doesn't really make a difference. We really need to be down there with older people, and we just, we need to be down there. Now, all that good news, oh, 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 so we have our house inspection on Monday. We have a um, person coming over, one of, uh, you know, a handyman to, to, uh, to do a few things that need to be done that we know about, and, you know, nothing serious, a little pieces of molding, you know, little things like that. Nothing serious. And we had closet doors that had to be hung because Charlie had his desk in the closet. Anyway, <laughs> he, uh, we had that done, and he's got a few more things to do. The inspection's Monday. So actually, I still need players on the house because until uh, we hear what's on the inspection and he's hears what's on the inspection and decides whether he's going to go ahead with the sale... Uh, you know, we still really haven't, it's not sold till you pass papers and have signatures. Then your house is sold, okay? But that being said, if everything goes all right with the inspection on Monday, we will be passing papers on the house on or before March 18th. So, whenever, before. And we have until, oh, excuse me. We have until um, May 18th, which is our 46th anniversary, to be in this house, but we'll be in Florida as soon as we can. But we have to find a house and pass papers on that house, too. So my life is still a mess right now. It's very, 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 very stressful right now that because I can't even, I can't even think we've been looking at houses online. It's it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. That's all I can say, stress level-wise. Thank God. The health should be, you know, I mean, that's controllable. We know where we're going with that. I haven't got an appointment to start the bloodletting yet, but I'm waiting to hear from... You have to go see a gastroenterologist. Those are the doctors to deal with your middle organs. I don't understand why they, a, G, a family doctor can't send you to a place where you can have your blood. You know, actually, technically, any place where you can give blood could draw blood out of me. I mean, it is a big deal. Anyway, that's where we stand with that. That's where we stand with the house. I, As I say, I just have to thank everybody for their prayers. I so appreciate it. And I do want to mention, I haven't been able to watch YouTube. I haven't been able to answer comments in the last couple of days um, or private messages or anything because I just, 
I'm running. I'm like a chicken with a head cut off. I'm, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed to the maximum. It's been, it's been a very bad week, a very long week. Um, you know, nerve-wise, it just ups, downs, ins, outs. I'm exhausted. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating. You know, I mean, it hasn't been good. And I, it's very hard for me to watch a video. I'm not in the mood to do anything. And I have stuff that I have to do, like I have to work on finding the houses we're going to look at. And we found like 25. We've got to whittle the list down. I don't know. You know, this is what I'm saying. There's so much stress right now that I think what we're going to do is, or I'm going to do, I haven't discussed it with Charlie, but you probably won't be seeing me. Uh, I don't know about Charlie. Or maybe we'll both come on, and I don't know what will happen anyway. But um, I doubt that we will be doing bit videos until we get settled in Florida. So that being said, I just want to say how much I love you all. Uh, I will be back, hopefully with interesting things to show you. Uh, when I say that, I mean a whole new area, a whole new, a whole new life starting out, really. So, um, with that, I wish you peace, hugs, love, God bless. I love you all. Hope to see you in a while, okay? Hope to see you from sunny Florida. <laughs>